Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. Thank you to all of you who keep coming back. Please join in the chat if you want to get acquainted with everyone. Uh, Virgo, hope you're doing well. This will be your love reading for November for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, Virgo. Let's see what the love messages are. Personal reading links are below this video, and also there's a link in the chat at the very top. Okay, you can book same day as well. Although I do believe I'm booked up for the rest of this week, so I think I have some slots open for next week, so go right on over and book your reading with me. One hour phone call, or you can do a 30 minute phone call. All right, Virgo, let's get started. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What are the love drama messages <laughs> for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, King of Pentacles. And the Seven of Swords. The Page of Pentacles. The Five of Swords. Temperance. The Hermit. The Ace of Cups. Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Wow. Okay, bottom of the deck, the Tower. What? Okay, so we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here, Sagittarius, Scorpio energy. We have Leo, Pisces, Taurus. All right, so let's see what's going on here, Virgo. Okay, Tower moment. Something is coming crashing down ruin change this feels like unwanted change okay but there's like a the sun is here so there's like a new beginning happening after all of this what does that mean there's peace peace of mind joy happiness after things are just something's ending something's over um but it feels like you i feel like you you you're like that's it I'm freaking done with this shit <laughs> virgo you're like that is it i'm done i don't want anything back you've got somebody else here though who's if you ended a relationship virgo you have somebody here who's like standing on the sidelines watching it's just like very hesitant they're not sure what to make of something if you ended something, they're like kind of in the dark. They're not sure. I feel like this person, um, if you were seeking more of a commitment or something more stable and you weren't getting it, a lot of you just said, you know, burning down the freaking house. You just feel like it just, that's it. It's not, we're not compatible. It's not working. There's no chemistry, whatever else is going on. Or this person, um, you're just at this place where you can do drama all by yourself. You just want to be on your own. You just want, you're looking for peace of mind. You're just looking for this rest and rejuvenation. You just want to renew your soul, have that warmth, that warm glow. You want to be joyous, successful, and happy, right? And you've got somebody else here who's like in the dark about this, okay? This person, I feel like it's like, <clears throat> now they're like weighing the commitment now they're thinking about it and some of you are like really i mean really <clears throat> sorry so sorry i don't know i must have like inhaled some dust <clears throat> so this person whomever you were connecting with um or whatever you ended or whatever you're ending in november because you're just like mic drop <laughs> you just like i'm done that's it because you're you you just don't want any turmoil you're done with the suffering and now here they are kind of looking at like what you did what's going on here and this person is now like beginning to see the light a little light is being shed that maybe they lost you now they're thinking about the commitment now they're weighing it out now they're making that decision <laughs> And some of you are like, oh, you can go sit in the closet and decide all you want because you're done. You're done. You're burning down the house. You're ready for like, you know, you 
feels like it was an obstacle and you're removing this obstacle so that there'd be more light to shine in. Let me see here. What are your love messages? Express your love. Staying optimistic about your love life. And separation. Okay. This person, Virgo. They're going to come running back to you. Point blank period. They're going to message you, Virgo. <clears throat> Try to express their love, but they're also going to like come in with some type of communication. They're coming in very stable, financially stable, or just settled now. Um, it just, you know, it just feels like as soon as you walk out the door, as soon as you slam that door on someone, as soon as you set fire to that whole situation and you just turn it to ash and dust, now they want to be with you. Now they're coming in. Now they want to be with you. Okay. They want to, they're running back to you. They're going to try to communicate. They get, they're probably going to tell you, I'm just picking up this energy of like, you ran away with their heart. <laughs> you ran away with their heart. They might accuse you of running away or not being responsible or not talking to them or not sorting things out. And some of you are like, I know you've done it. I know you've sorted things out with you tried. Okay. <clears throat> it just feels like they're looking at you like you're a thief of hearts. <laughs> yep, they're coming in here, the world. Wanting to have a new a new chapter, start all over. And Virgo's like, you can express your love on the express train and take the next car out of here. <laughs> Look, here's a tower. See? That's what I'm talking about. We also have Aquarius here. This person just feels like you just took the money and ran. Like you just said... I'm not talking anymore. I'm not saying anything anymore. I'm banging my head against the wall and I'm sick and tired of this. And you just destroyed everything or you're going to in November. And now here they are like mad at you for this. Like they're pissed because you just took some action. They're mad because you took a stand. It's a shock. I feel like this person is shocked by the way you did this because a lot of you, it was like you escaped, you know, like you just snuck off like a thief in the night. That's, or at least that's how they see it. That's how they're viewing it. It's like they're, I feel like they're like feeling like you were deceptive towards them and that you were lying to them. <laughs> They, because some of you, I, I do get a sense, I don't know who this is resonating for, but some of you just blocked, you cut everything out, you cut everything off, you just went ghost. Some of you ghosted somebody, like purposefully. Maybe something happened in this connection, um, that things just fell apart. I feel like a lot of you, I don't see any communication cards here. I mean, we have swords, but this sword energy is like, withdraw a lot of you just withdrew your joy and your happiness and your presence from this relationship and this person so they're coming in here Communi look king of pentacles again on book ending this okay they're gonna they might send you money or they may communicate with you that they want to buy you everything or they want to buy you a ring or they want to you know they're going to express their love through <clears throat> a token like some kind of token that they can hold or show you or, or they tell you that there's a gift on the way or they sent you something um could be like um a token like an apology of some sort i feel like this person just didn't understand that you wanted a full-on commitment or you wanted something real with them and maybe some of you had that but they maybe weren't acting as if they were in a committed relationship with you and i just kind of feel like you sneaking away or you leaving has them kind of stumped. But they do after, like, I feel like if you do that, if you're, like, if this hasn't already happened, some of you I know it has, but if it hasn't already happened and it's happening in November, this person's kind of, like, shocked. And I feel like they're getting a, a zinger on the head, you know, about 
it's like it finally hits him. It finally hits him. Bada bing. <laughs> finally hits him. Somebody said to me, who was it? One of you guys in the chat yesterday said that I must be Italian, I think, because the things I'm saying. I am Italian, and I am from Jersey, but I've been watching Tony Soprano, so I'm kind of like, bada bing. That's all I keep doing. I don't know. My, I think that happens. <laughs> but anyway, neither here nor there. So this person is coming in. They're not letting you go. They are like really optimistic that you're going to receive an offer or you're going to take something from them and that they're thinking real positively that they can get you back. Okay. So they come in with this five swords energy. And that can be a form of bullying or abuse. So they're going to try and get their way with you here. And why? Because they're feeling sorry for themselves. Five of Cups. Because they're feeling sorry for themselves. Sorry. I mean, is it regret? Is it remorse with loss of the relationship? Or, or is it regret and remorse because you finally had enough and you put your foot down and you walked out the door? And now that's like, no. This person's like, no, this is not going to happen. Try to recover make themselves feel better is it an ego thing it could be very much could be you know making a romantic gesture is not sitting down and saying hey you know they're gonna try to but listen okay so are they actually handing you a ring no i mean it's it's page energy so it's immature it's it's this is kind of like up in the air ideas and plans and concepts so it's it might it, for some of you it's going to be this conversation or a message or something where they're going to tell you what they're going to do, what they're going to purchase for you, how they're going to show you this proof. But it's not actually doing it. It's just communicating to you their plans and ideas. And some of you are like, talk, 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 talk. <clears throat> no more talk. And that's what I kind of feel like a lot of you are like, you've, you've heard this all before. You know, and some of you are actually taking a stance here and doing something about it. So they're going to come in here feeling sad, feeling sorry for themselves. They want to bring peace and harmony into the situation. They're really reflecting. They're really going deep and thinking about stuff. They've really been thinking about it. Here's the high priestess. They're holding back, though. They got some secrets. There's something behind the veil here with this person. I can't it's amazing to me when cards come out the way they come out this person is like I feel like they're gonna like have this conversation with you like I know I've been withdrawn I know I I keep a lot of secrets I know I don't share I don't open up I don't communicate but I really want to bring balance into this connection I want to bring harmony back and just get the heck out of here it's all talk Virgo there's no wand energy here there's no not yet there's no physical action here okay it's just talk it's just bullshit that's what it feels like it just feels like a whole bunch of bullshit a whole bunch of car salesman crap <laughs> there's a hermit again right we're getting double cards here okay i'm really gonna um I've really been thinking about you, I've been thinking about things. I want peace in this connection. I want to bring love back into the relationship, that kind of thing. I want to be a family again. I want to build with you. I want to leave a legacy with you. I'm going to work really hard this time. I promise, I promise, I promise. And some of you are getting lulled to sleep. Some of you, Virgo, don't get lulled to sleep. Don't listen to words. What are words for when no one listens anymore? Words are just words. It's lip service, Virgo. Keep it real. Since you've been gone, okay? This person's been, you know, really thinking about all this. Nine of Wands energy here. Going to be very persistent, Virgo. This person's coming in in November. Very persistent. This doesn't have to be your like super duper past person. This could be somebody you've recently been dating where you're just like, things are not progressing. You're not feeling it. You're, you know, putting the kibosh on this. And now they're going to come in, like I said, 
but it's just all talk. Okay, I want this healing. I'm going to work really hard to heal our connection. I don't want us to separate. They're worried about like separation or you leaving them for good, that kind of energy. You know what I'm saying, Virgo? I mean, this was so easy to read. Usually my readings go, like, how long with this? This was so easy to read. It just feels to me like you finally made a decision to walk away, and they're coming in with words to try to lure you back in, okay? And that's what I feel like they're kind of, like, juggling here, weighing things out. You know, what's the best way? What's the best way to get Virgo into some kind of commitment with me? What's the best? Should I offer them? Should I offer this coin? Or should I offer this coin? Heads or tails? This, just just how, they, how seriously they take this. I feel like this person is like flipping a freaking coin to make the decision. Right? And then they come. They find, they, they choose. One coin hits the ground, and that's the one. And then they come in. Here, look. Here's what I'm going to do for you. Here's what I'm going to share with you. And everyone's like, I don't see your walking stick. I don't see you coming in here. I don't, like, this is all talk. You think this is going to get my hopes up? It's not going to get my hopes up. No, because it's not real. It's just lip service. How many other people do you say this to? <laughs> Virgo. Virgo's like, don't play me. You can't mess with this. Virgo, you cannot take lip, lip service. People can say whatever they want, Virgo. It's very easy. Just to get what they want. And then when it's time to deliver, the delivery is like shoddy. Or it's not the full what you expected or what they said they were going to give. you got to watch out for people like that. And if that's what you're dealing with, like you got to be sensible. You can say to this person, okay, I'm not going to hold my breath. You say all this stuff. I'm not making any moves until you do this stuff. Show up or show out. Let's see what this moon pie wants to talk. Moon pie wants to talk. Test of faith and boundaries. Point blank period. There you go, Virgo. That's what's happening right here. You're being tested. Oh, Virgo, you're being tested. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for the lip service. Don't fall for the sweet talk. Don't fall for these promises that are up in the air. Isn't that an incubus song? Promises? Promises, promises. I think it was an 80s song, too. You made me promises, promises. No, you can keep. Test of faith. You're being tested here, Virgo. Okay, some of you are involved with a fire sign. Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, okay, uh, male or female, coming in very mature, dynamic, charming, full of charisma, action-oriented, doesn't have to be a fire sign, but it could be, just coming in with that energy, <clears throat> you tell this person, endure and be patient, you, listen Virgo, this is not the time for you to just jump on the heels of this person when they come in with these words or the, whatever gifts they're trying to buy you back with or these false promises okay because it's not that the page of um pentacles this is this is news coming in but it and it's usually very good news but it's it, it's it's just words it's like the newspaper you know you get the news for the day and by tomorrow it's it's yesterday's news right it's just it's just written in print but it's not the full Monty. <clears throat> and they have it to give. But it's not that they won't give. It's not that I'm not seeing that yet. It's not that they won't give. But it's up to you to kind of hold them accountable to that. Right? So it's to not, you know, have this person come in and finally give you, like, tell you that that's what they want. And they want to be married. They want to commit and all that. And then for you to run back to your family and tell them, oh, all this great news. And then don't, listen, you know when like you're pregnant, <laughs> for some of you, I don't know if you remember, 
we ever, we all waited until we got to the first trimester was over before we really announced the birth, like the, that there was a pregnancy because we wanted to wait. We needed to wait to make sure because the first trimester is the heart, you know, that's the most dangerous time, right? And a lot of people, you know, and I'm sorry if you've ever been pregnant and you've lost a child, uh, my my sincerest condolences to you if I've ever had to deal with that. But you, you remember, I don't know if girls or women still do that today or parents or fathers or whatever, but there was always that period, that probation period of like, okay, we're not going to say anything just yet. We want to just make sure it's it's good. And I feel like that's the message here for you with this person because they are going to come in and they are going to say these things to you, but you need to hold your ground, Virgo. And you need to say, okay, I hear what you're saying. But I'm going to need to see the proof in the pudding. So you're going to have to be patient and endure. Don't give in right away. Okay. Toxici toxicity. Something's got a hold of you. You need to break these chains right now and take it a day at a time. Because healing and change does not happen overnight. Pray for guidance in this situation when this person comes in. Okay. If you need to be lifted out of something, ask for help. This could be, for some of you, a very toxic relationship. I'm not talking like just plain old unhealthy. I'm talking like really toxic, manipulative. I didn't even say that right. Manipulative. you got to be very careful. A lot of you, listen, people are going to try you. Virgo, people are always going to try you to see what they can get away with. Does that mean that they're manipulative? No, everybody tries. Every, your three-year-old will try you, okay? The, the grocery store clerk will try you, you know? The, the car salesman will try. Does that make them all toxic individuals? No. It's just that's how life is, you know? Um, the landscaper is going to try you. Like everybody wants to test to see how far they can go. I don't know if your person is toxic or not. If you know that's the case, then you know you, you're good because you're moving on. But it doesn't necessarily. It doesn't matter. It does not matter if that person's a narcissist. It doesn't matter if they're toxic. What matters is if you are. What matters is where are your boundaries. What matters is what you know. People can only take advantage of you if you allow them to, Virgo. And we could go around blaming all these noxis these noxicists. <laughs> I just created a new freaking word, a noxicist. That's it. That's the word now. It's a toxic narcissist, narcissistic toxic person, a noxicist. There you go. Write that down there in the chat. That's our new word. We got smoles. We got keep it moving and stay away from noxicists. Okay. So whatever this person is, it does not matter. What matters is you. Where are your boundaries? What are you allowing and not allowing? That's all. That's all you need to worry about. You don't need to worry about being done with a relationship and fearing the next person is going to be uh, taking advantage of you or is a noxicist. All you need to worry about is where you stand. Okay, car salesman can't get over on you if you don't allow it or anybody else. Your three-year-old cannot try you and take advantage of you unless you allow it. You got to give consequences. You got to stand up. You got to have self-discipline and control and boundaries. Noxicist. Okay, we have a highly, highly logical male. Okay, so there could be an air sign you're connecting with, male or female. Very heady, big communicator, very strategic. Okay, so you have a charismatic, strategic person here who's trying to make some plays on you. Virgo, listen, I implore you, I'm actually going to write this, I'm going to make a book. It's going to be called Virgo's Playbook. You need to have your playbook, Virgo, before you enter the game. If you enter a game without a playbook and without a plan, you will lose. You need to be just as strategic. You don't go into any kind. You don't watch sports games and think they're just willy-nilly all over the field. No, they have a coach. They have a playbook. Where are your strengths? Where are your weaknesses? 
You don't have to worry about meeting other people and saying, oh, everybody, the next person I'm afraid I meet is going to be a narcissist. No, you don't have to worry about that. Victory, recognition, and applause. That's all you need to worry about here within yourself, okay? Being victorious in your own life, recognizing your strengths, your weaknesses, improving on your weaknesses, and seeking the applause of people who support you and yourself and yourself. Okay, trust your intuition, Virgo, the answer lies within. Okay, trust spirit, wait for answers to be revealed to you. I want to see what your love messages are here with this person. I feel like it's reading might go a little bit faster than normal. Okay, all right, you have put away your computer. If you're watching this person, uh, stop it. If you don't want to shut down, if you don't want to block anybody, just get away from social media for a while. Also, um, Go out in some fresh air. Go walk. Go do some shopping. Go get your Christmas shopping early, uh, done early. Okay. Go visit friends and family. Right. Get off the computer. Some of you. This message is not going to resonate for all of you, but some of you, the computer is affecting, or has affected the relationship. Some of you, your person, might have been on the computer a lot. They might spend an inordinate amount of time on the computer and not have contributed to this relationship. A lot of you left because of that, maybe gaming addiction or computer addiction, or they're on porn sites all the time. You know, whatever the reason, <clears throat> either, you know, you need to put it away. Some of you might have got co-addicted with that. Either you need to put it away, they need to put it away. The relationship, if that's a factor, because it doesn't matter, it's an, it's an addiction of some sort. If that's a factor, then that needs to be removed for a while until the relationship can be strengthened. If this person is coming back, they're coming back and trying to get you back, but that's still an issue. That's something you've got to take a look at. Past life love. Okay. This is a past lover. Okay. Vulnerability. You can be completely open with this person. What that means is there's communication coming in with this person, which I feel like there is. You got to be in your truth. Speak with integrity. And be honest and open. Not about criticizing them, because that doesn't serve you. But be honest and open about yourself, your needs, what you will and will not settle for. Period. Okay? You can be vulnerable with them by opening up. Not for them to take pot shots. Because if you, if you open up your mouth and you start criticizing, this person might retaliate. There's, there's no resolve in that. Be open. And if they're, you know, coming in and you're just like, this is not for me. This is not what I want. I don't feel comfortable in this relationship. I'm not like, it's not good. This, these words are not going to work. It's not healthy for me. Then you got to say that. And if you have said that, and they're still not listening, you're probably going to have to say it again. Or you just, you know, show your vulnerability by like, hey, this is hurting me. Click, delete, goodbye, if they're able to get through. Okay. Safe to trust yourself in this situation. But, okay, it's the first time I ever saw this. You got to play hard to get. You do. Because a lot of you were playing, uh, I mean, no offense, some of you, somebody here, I don't know who listening, might have been playing the doormat a little bit. You were playing hard to get. Not in the game. But as in self-respect, you know, a lot of you were just like, oh, yeah, OK, I'll take you back right away. No, you don't have to pay consequences. You don't have to do shit. I'll take you back. Come on, because I love you and I want to be with you. There's a sense of a void or, an, or, or um, you haven't healed yet. And some of you are really just trying to get that healing and that self-respect back because of whatever you were in. And listen, nobody's judging. That's fine. Everybody, even the best of people go through those situations. You know, sometimes we lose ourselves. Like, what does Baba Jolie say? I heard her once say, when love walks in, common sense walks out. That happens to everybody. That happens to everybody. And, and everybody loses a sense of sensibility unless they're like me and they have a Capricorn moon, everybody loses a sense of sensibility when it comes to love because we tend to sacrifice and we do a bit more than we need to be doing, right? It happens to everyone. And if that's you, don't beat yourself up over that. But don't waste any more time. Don't waste any more time. Make them prove it to you because you deserve that. Wait, 
right now they're just giving me that song Don't go for second best, baby. Put your love to the test. You know, you know, you've got to make him express how he feels. And then you'll know his love is real. So you got to make him prove it. Make him express it. Not with long stem roses are the way to your heart. But they never last that long. I love that song. That, that should be your motto. Virgo, go listen to that song. I mean, you know, it's Madonna. I mean, if you haven't heard that, then like what planet are you living on? But go listen to that song because that right there, especially for the ladies, <laughs> but the guys can too. I want to be more than friends, this person. They replay your conversations over and over. So many things remind me of you, Virgo. Okay. Well, this person, they're, they are going to come in. They do want more, and that's fine. Good for you. If that, if that's what it, if that's, if this is what needed to happen, how come my lights aren't here? If this is what needed to happen, and you needed to, you know, walk away from a relationship just to get this person to kind of shake it up, shake things up, that tower moment. Well, then that's what you needed to do. And if that's what's happening for them, and they're waking up to it, you went no contact, or you just whatever you're doing. Um, and they're waking up to that's great because maybe now things can start, you know, we're mixing up the salad bowl here and, uh, maybe things can, the conversations can start again, but still, still, even with that being said, you're not taking, we're not taking apologies without actions behind it. We're not taking lip service. This person wants you. They remember every detail of you and of that day, the way you looked when you left, the last thing you said to them, the way they felt. This person is super attracted to you. They lost themselves for a little while, but they do feel that you're leaving. They feel it or that you're, if you're going to be leaving in the month of November, or if you tell them, no, you don't want it back. You know, everything's going to just start bubbling up to the surface. I feel like the fact that you, a lot of you just burn the house down on this relationship. Um, even that right there. And I hope you can forgive them. Okay. Well, these, this, these are all their emotions and how they're feeling. Um, and I, you know, if they tell you this stuff, that's great. But like I said, too much talking, not enough walking, not enough action. And action like things got to be done you know what i mean we're not sitting on this planet uh, to just talk about what we're gonna do then we'll never get anything done if we're just sitting there yapping our freaking lips all the time at each other but nothing's getting done well, what's the sense in that you know partnerships are not just love they're working partnerships you know, imagine you go into work and you're all standing there at the desk and all you guys are doing is talking about what the plans are, but nobody goes to work and does anything. It's nothing. It's up in the air. It means nothing. Make this person express how they feel and show it. Otherwise, keep it moving. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, let's see what your moonology messages are. Bring love into the situation. Hmm. So Virgo, I feel for you, you don't have to be a bitch. You don't have to be, I don't know, what's a male bitch? Jerk. I don't know. You don't have to be that way. You can get your point across. You can set your boundaries. You can Claire Huxtable somebody and just be firm. But do it in a loving way. Because then it's a reflection of you. Okay? If you're pointing fingers, you're slapping, cat fight, you're being mean. I mean, that, that all that does is just show the type of character you have. You don't have to be that way. Even if you're angry, go cool off first before you have a conversation or before you talk to somebody. Okay? I know that's not for everybody. There's just somebody here might need to hear that. And when you're ready to have that conversation, you have that firm, solid conversation in a loving way because you hurting other people it just shows that you're hurt. 
right? And that gives that person the message. If you're hurting them in, in, um, because you want to make them feel the pain that you're feeling, I mean, you didn't like that person doing it to you. So, you know, sometimes, sometimes life can be an eye for an eye, but I feel like in personal relationships, I don't feel like that's ever a healthy, a healthy. I feel like if, you, if you're finished with a relationship, you don't want something just kindly and respectfully and as lovingly as you can, excuse yourself from the relationship. You don't have to be mean, okay? If you feel like you're gonna be angry and say some nasty critical things to somebody, because I know Virgo, Virgo, listen. I know Virgos. Virgo can go right for the jugular. Virgo's very precise. Refrain from being so precise. Just speak from the heart if you need to do that, okay? Or even if you want to accept this person's offers that's coming in, speak from the heart and you can say, you know, I so greatly appreciate hearing that, um, but I'm gonna need to see the deets. I'm gonna need to see this written. I need a contract. I need it in paper. I need you to show up at my door every day. I'm like, <laughs> you're on probation. <laughs> I don't know. But you know what I mean? You know? Okay. There's a new start coming, Virgo. When is the new moon? I feel like that energy is going to, this is going to be playing out around the new moon. There's a new start coming in your life here. A lot of you have been hoping and praying for this. A lot of you are like, you're done with it. You're done with it. You're done with it. And you have new love coming in in November. I keep saying that. I keep feeling that. And I know some of you are like, who, what, where, when, how? Well, listen, there's one thing I want to tell you, Virgo. I know we're still in the time of COVID and stuff, but listen, Prince Charming, Princess Charming, it's just not going to drop down out of the sky on your doormat. you got to get out. you got to actually go on dates. you got to actually go out. If you're sitting on your couch and you're not doing shit all day or all weekend or all night, and you're crying in your popcorn bag because you don't know where your prince or princess is. And you just are like, where are they? Where are they? Well, they're out there probably somewhere stuck in a tree. Who the heck knows? But they're nowhere where you are. They're not next to you on the couch. You got to get up. You got to make plans. You got to do some holiday stuff. Go to some parties. Socialize. You know, meet some people. Ask friends. Ask, ask close friends or family members if there's... Uh, they know anyone that's single and is looking to go on a date or would like to go out and have, you know what I mean? Ask somebody to set you up, match up someone that you can get like, you know, good reference, you know, like this person can like, has already been vetted because whoever you're talking to knows them, that kind of thing. You got to get out there for that new start. I say it all the time. Yeah, a new starts coming, but it's not going to come if you don't leave your house. Go to the gym. I don't know. Do something. But Kel, I'm out all the time. I'm going on dates all the time. Uh, when's a new start coming? That is your new start. I'm not even talking to you. I'm talking to those of you who are just, you listen to tower readings all day long. <laughs> listen, tower readings are great, right? I feel things. I see things. Some stuff has come true for you through my predictions and personal readings. But the, for those of you that like are not living your lives, I don't care if you got to wear a hazmat suit out because you're afraid or you haven't been vaccinated, whatever. I don't care. Get out there. Because if not, it's not just going to happen willy nilly. You got to get out there. If that's what you want, the new start could just be you getting out there. That might be your advice here. The new start is you getting up off your butt. I don't know. Go join a sewing class. Go join the UFC. Start doing something. Go play golf. Just get involved with other people. You can social distance and keep your mask on if that's where you're at with things or you're not comfortable with that. Go to those parties that you get invited to or things like that. You're very close to achieving your goal. See, I feel like if you start, whatever you need to start here, if you're done with this connection, listen, even if this person comes back, and you need to like say, hey, listen, I get you. I hear what you're saying. I appreciate it. But I'm going to need to see some action. And while you're coming here and proving it to me because you've been playing me or doing whatever you were doing, I'm going to continue to date. 
And if I see that you really do mean business and I'm convinced, you have me convinced to the point where there's no way in hell you would go the distance like this. Okay, then I'll stop dating and then we'll talk about getting into a relationship again. Otherwise, I'm moving on. Respect yourself. You and your loved ones are safe. I love that message for you. Some of you are stressing over your family members, or your friends, or people who are close to you, or children, you're worried. You're safe, Virgo. You're going to be okay. Okay? You're protected, Virgo. It's an, if you have a moon in Cancer, that's definitely for you. Okay? Um, let's get some of your advice cards. Because I do feel like this person is going to... I mean, I just kind of feel like you're burning down the house and you, you do want to go out and play and you want to be at peace and you want rest and rejuvenation and renewal. And I feel like while you're moving on, chasing after your dreams, this person's chasing after you. And they're shocked. They don't even know who you are. This person's like, who the hell is this? This is not the same person. Where did this where did this Virgo come from? This is not the Virgo I knew before. I better step up my game. You better shape up. Cause I need a man who can keep me satisfied. <laughs> okay. You have the nine of cups. Wishes coming true. Your dreams are becoming reality in November. A magical time of life is waiting for you, Virgo. Especially the holidays. Such a magical, beautiful time. Good fortune coming to you. Faith in God that all will be well. So important that you keep the faith. So important. When you ask, just say, what, what do you have for me? Like, what do, you, what, are, what, am, what do you want me to do? Guide me. Show me the way. And they do. And God shows you the way, always provides that path for you. Not always gives you what you want, but will definitely always give you what you need. Even if it's not what you want, you may not like it sometimes, but it's always for your best benefit. Trust, have that faith. Okay, the wheel, change, a fresh new start. What did I say? And also the end of delays. Okay. Sudden or unexpected progress. This is what I feel like is coming in here. Like I said, this person, um, man, you threw this, you threw a wrench in the wheel, and they're coming in to remove that went that wrench. <laughs> I almost said wench. <laughs> they're coming in to remove that wrench out of the wheel and getting start to get things moving here. A very positive change in your life. Travel for some could be a new car. Some of you might be making that final decision now to buy that new car. Some of you could be with a car salesman. They come in with a car. I'm going to buy you a new car. You know, if they say they're going to do it. Don't just believe them. Say, all right, when you hand me the keys, I'll believe it. And if you take that car, don't think that you owe them your freaking life. That's just part of their probation. They got to repay you. <laughs> for stealing from you or taking from you. No, I'm being so materialistic. I mean, you do what you want. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, page of cups. What did I say? There's an apology, definitely. They're coming in with an apology. And they are going to, you know, the page, though it's words, okay? Again, like I said, pages are positive news, but it is messages, okay? It's words, all right, so they're going to come in with apology. They are, they are going to tell you they're sorry and they want to make it up to you. They tell you that they miss you or that things got out of hand or they were just holding back and, you know, all that stuff. And here's what they're going to do. And here's their plans again. But I don't have a knight of pentacles. I don't have a knight of cups, you know, knight of wands, knight of swords. I'm not seeing that energy here. That's, those are action. Those are cards of movement. I just see a lot of communication and a lot of talking. Messages regarding the relationship. Okay. Some of you might get invited also. Maybe this person might invite you 
to like a social outing. Um, some of you are going to get a friend request from this person on social media. Okay, if you're not on there, um, this could be somebody new, could be friend requesting you or messaging you on social media, asking to get together or making plans with you. This could also be your previous person. If you had this person, if you're on social media and you had them blocked, there's going to be a, refer a friend request from someone you don't know. They might even pose as a child. It's just kind of keeping tabs on you a little bit just to see, just to see. I feel like collecting information that's a strange message i just got trust your heightened psychic abilities at this time virgo you know everybody's got psychic abilities you don't everybody has them some have them more fine-tuned than others but you have them virgo trust them oh okay three of wands planning for the long term abundance from past choices pride in the success of your labors be patient as you decide what's next okay and you did have endure and be patient so be patient with this situation okay you call in the shots the wheels in your favor virgo you make the decision here i'm going to go right into the charms but i'm not going to like keep you guys here forever and ever and ever we're just going to go right to the charms These dreams are made of these. Who am I to disagree? Hi, everybody in the chat. Thank you for the super chats yesterday. Y'all are awesome. Appreciate it. Every little bit of helps to support the channel. Whatever you give, I'm always grateful. I'm gonna actually. I think what I might do, I might start actually going like, actually live here on these videos at the same time, so that I can actually interact with you guys. I'm thinking about doing that. I'm not sure though. Let's see. All right, we got a teddy bear. Yeah, I just was talking about a teddy bear today earlier isn't that interesting somebody's name is theodore or maybe ted or teddy um hmm oh or somebody like you maybe your person was like a teddy bear to you or you called them like a ted they were your teddy bear um i just feel it's like plush maybe you're holding a teddy bear you sleep with one at night or you got to sew or fix your child's or grandchild's teddy bear at this time. Some of you, some of you are just looking for someone who's got that, you know, maybe that dad bod or mom bod. You just like looking for some extra rolls or something to squeeze, you know, a little extra, extra something, something. <laughs> something like a teddy bear. Someone to hug. <laughs> Oh, you guys, the seahorse came back again. Look, same seahorse yesterday. And you guys all said that this was like a soulmate energy. Sea, seahorses, I think somebody said that they never separate. They, they mate for life, okay? So there is a possibility that this person is returning and this, this will be it now. This will be the finale. This will be like, you know, they're going to come in and like you guys, that's it. You're together forever. For others, like I said, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. You can say no. Either way, you're gonna. There's someone out there for you. This soulmate energy. You will not be alone for the rest of your life. Be positive, okay? Uh, somebody is flying near, or somebody's going near Bermuda, or flying near Bermuda. I just heard. Or there was a trip to Bermuda. Maybe somebody's from there. I just heard um, something to do with Bermuda. Oh, geez. Oh, that's freaking Squid is back. Isn't there some TV show called Squid Games or something? I don't know what it is. I haven't watched it. But is that what it's called, Squid Games? Somebody um, watching that TV show, Squid Games? 
I was connected to that. What the hell is this? Oh, this is a cat. <laughs> it's that damn cat with its butt up in the air again. That cat. And we have the Eiffel Tower here. Okay, somebody's scratching their cat's back. I don't know if you have a cat. You scratch its back and he purrs and then he puts a starfish in your face. He backs that starfish up into your face. Or you wake up in the morning and, you know, his starfish ass is in your face. Something with your cat. And also we have the Eiffel Tower here. So um, anybody from France or going to France or lives in city of Paris, okay, that would be your message. And then we have the Hamsa. So this is protection, okay? You are protected, Virgo, 100% protected. You can't do wrong, Virgo. No matter what decision you make, you have the Midas touch. You're protected. If you say no, you win. If you say yes, you win. You know, the decision is yours, whatever you want, whatever the, the world is your oyster. Don't um, think that you are like stuck or trapped something forever. You have free will, Virgo. You can do whatever you need to do. You can make your own decisions. You're not obligated unless you're, you know, I mean, you're in a formal contract with someone, you, know, you have some obligation, but there's, right, of all these charms, there's another seahorse, I'm telling you. Virgo, your soulmate's coming. Your soulmate is coming. If your soulmate, if you thought this person that you were connecting with in the past, they're coming back, you know, there are some bumps in the road and there's some stuff you gotta level up yourself. You know, that energy's playing out. It's like a win-win no matter what. If you decide this is not the one for you or it's not going to work or whatever, there will be, listen, we have so many soulmates in life. It's not just one person. Get off the twin flame train and focus on the soulmate because that, those are more working partnerships, you know? That's the best friend and lovers kind of thing. That twin flame shit, it was going to break you down and tear you to pieces. It's difficult. It's tough. And then, I, listen, I don't think that is ever a love that's worth it. Because usually those twin flames are, those messages, there's so much grief and those are, they can feel so toxic. And sometimes it's even hard to tell, is this my twin flame or karmic? I don't know what's going on. Are karmic twin flame? Is it a false twin flame? Just stick with your crew, your soul tribe. Find people who you connect with and you're on the same wavelength and the same page. You know, stop trying to test all these damn waters. Stop, you know, accepting love offers from people who you just have this instant magnetic attraction to, but you know it's like an obsession and you know it's not going to be a workable thing. It's That's the kind of shit that will just put you in the ground way sooner than you need to be, you know? I mean, I know there's a lot of like... I know we say a lot, oh, it's a twin flame. There's, there's some kind of like magical glow to that. I don't always think a twin flame thing is, is a good thing, you know? It really just depends because you could have your, your twin flame. This could be your other half. Um, but you know, it's like a twin flame. It's a fire. Those fires burn hot. You know what I mean? They burn. And some fires, some twins are not as ascended as the other. And that usually is where the the struggle is that's like the earthquakes you know that's one plate rubbing against the other it's a lot of friction it causes those sparks and those fires but man that it can be crushing sometimes so you know i'm gonna leave your reading there because i feel like i'm just going on and on and on um yeah so i'll be back tomorrow with tomorrow's reading i hope you enjoyed this i hope it was helpful definitely click on the uh subscribe and like button if you enjoy this video support the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And you guys, um, personal reading links, definitely hit it. I'm all, I have some bookings open for next week. So pop on in, get a reading from me. I promise you it will be worth it and you will enjoy it. And I'm going to be starting that membership soon. I know I keep saying it. <laughs> I've just had a lot on my plate lately and I've been trying to take care of like other things. Um, it's common. It's coming, Virgo. All right, you guys. I love you. Thanks for hanging out. And I will see you all tomorrow. Okay, take care. Bye.